Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm never from Nev's Tech Bits, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet, and I've been doing a lot of tests in my basement with a lot of NVIDIA products, trying to test Olama and seeing how good what does on what system. I'm focusing primarily on budget systems. Right here, we have the NVIDIA Q to Compute Score. If you're not good at this, uh, take my hand, come with me, I'll show you how to do what you need to do on the left here okay first off we have all these different kinds don't get don't get upset about all this stuff if you don't understand what the different kinds are you're generally just going to be wanting your standard uh what nvidia rtx so akuda is something on an nvidia uh specific system that can do a lot of work with just a, a bunch of little nodes basically unbelievable amounts of work now in order to get the llms on a llama work and you need to have one you need to have a video card that has a compute compatibility of 5.0 or at least that seems to be what they recommend because I just ran this one right here and it has a score of 3.0 and it this one ran better than uh, please excuse me here uh, this Quadro K600 the K600 I had no idea I, there's no reason why it should have gone faster but the K620 um, decided that it was going to run faster, or sorry, slower, slower, and that doesn't make any freaking sense. So here we got the NVS 510 and the K620. So the NVS and K620, you probably aren't even going to be looking at these ones too much because these aren't standard. These are like a business thing. NVS is for is is, is if somebody wants multiple displays for whatever reason and they have to work really nicely. That's what you want. The NVS 510, the Quadro K620 is what you use if you're doing CAD and. You you need uh, measurements to be within a certain amount of like a really certain amount uh, it has ECC RAM on it and if we're just looking at the specs here it looks like the Quadro K620 uh, should be the faster one but it, is, it isn't I just ran a bunch of tests and that's why I'm making this video uh, for my peeps doing LLM Olama on a budget. Uh, I want to show you, geez, just because just because you're not at CUDA Computer 5.0 doesn't mean you shouldn't not even try. Get, get Use your old stuff. So ultimately, what I want to say is if you want to do this on a budget, this is your cheapest card. I am freaking blown away. I am freaking blown away by uh, the fact that a Quattro K220, this is a Kepler chip, and it has four gigabytes RAM. It looks like it doesn't take any extra power. But you can see here on the CUDA Compute score, the K, uh, wait, 220, yeah. The K220 has a score of 5.0. We can jump up to the M2000. Um, but that gets, I think you're looking at a bit more like 60 bucks and the M4000 is pretty good too. But so these are kind of sleepers on the secondary markets on, e on eBay. Uh, the K systems are being sold by enterprise. Enterprise hardware goes for like next to freaking nothing. Once it gets sold, like seriously, 30 bucks, 30, you know what? I think I might just get this myself. I might literally might just get this myself to run a benchmark on it. But ultimately what I want to throw down here is don't worry. Don't worry about uh, if you don't have the fastest, if you don't have the fastest video card. Because, um, sorry, yeah, it's the G-Force that people, that consumers will be using. Anyways, if you want to go that route, um... GTX 750 Ti gets a score of 5. Yeah, and their prices are definitely higher. And it's only 2 gigabytes. If you come over and yaw, this is a 4 gigabyte card. And the RAM's just a, a tinch little bit. So the VRAM's a tinch slow because it's error correcting, meaning it's just double checking itself to make sure it hasn't screwed up because it doesn't want to uh, have a crash, a machine crash, or anything like that. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a great unit to check out.
on a budget. And I just want to point out that you don't have to have a CUDA compute score of 5.0 in order to get Olamu working, at least at home. And that's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Like and subscribe if you like the stuff. It's always appreciated. And as always, folks, take care of each other, will you?